With Flash CS4, it has become remarkably easy to create uh, simple animations. For example, if we were to take our oval tool, uh, choose a fill and stroke color, draw our oval on the stage. To convert it to a symbol, we'll hit V to switch to the selection tool, double click on the fill to select both the fill and the stroke, and then hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. We'll just call the symbol circle, and we'll make it a movie clip. Click on OK. To make this into an animation, we simply right click on it, click on Create Motion Tween, and then drag it to its ending location. And now we see that we've created a simple tween. Now we can alter this tween, we can alter the shape of the tween, the motion path that it's following, simply by using the selection tool and clicking on this line and dragging it. And now we see we have this curved motion path, and as we animate our ball along that path, we see that it's moving in an arc. We can also uh, alter this path further by jumping to the sub-selection tool, and if we click on one of the end points of this path, we see we have these little Bezier curve handles that we can click and drag around so that we can make a little bit more of a complex path here, and the ball will travel along that path as it animates. Now, if you've used older versions of Flash before, you're probably familiar with creating um, your own motion paths using the pencil tool or whatever. And you might be wondering how you can create these custom motion paths in Flash CS4. Well, it's actually very, very simple. Let's hit Control Z or Command Z a few times to get back to the point before we created that tween. So now we just have our, uh, our movie clip on the stage. There's no tween applied yet. And I want to create a motion path for this. So I'm going to use the pencil tool here. And I'm going to set the, uh, the pencil mode to smooth. And then we'll just click and drag on the stage. I'll even put a loop in here to show you that that will work. And there we go, there's our motion path. So let's click on the selection tool, double click on that path, and then I'm just going to cut it from the stage. We'll hit Command X or Control X on a PC to cut that. And it's now on our clipboard. All we need to do now is to create our tween. So we'll right click on our object, click on Create Motion Tween. And now that that tween has been created, just make sure that it's selected. You can click anywhere on the timeline here to select it, or by default it should automatically be selected after you create that motion tween. And then just hit Command V to paste the stroke. Now it looks like the ball disappeared, but it didn't. If we scroll over, we can see that it's attached to the end of that line. Now I didn't paste that right where we wanted it, so we can click on it once to select it. And once it's selected, we can click on that stroke again and then just drag it over to the left. And now we can see as we click and drag across our playhead that the ball is following that path. If we hit Control Enter to test our movie, we can see that occurring. And that's going pretty quickly. We can slow that down a little bit simply by stretching this out a little bit. I'm going to stretch it out quite a bit because uh, the frame rate of this video I'm recording is pretty low. So if I stretch it out quite a bit, then it'll move a little slower and it'll be easier to see on this video. So we'll hit Command Return again to test it, and there we go. You see that our ball is following that motion path. And that's how you create a custom motion path in Flash CS4. So thank you so much for watching, and I want to encourage you to stop by schoolofflash.com anytime to see more video tutorials and written tutorials on Flash CS3 and Flash CS4.